I have few questions. Firstly, what went through your mind when a Vikram lander achieved soft landing on the earth pole, uh, south pole on the moon surface? Uh, it's very difficult to describe what went through the mind. Uh, so it could be joy, it could be the sense of accomplishment, and also thanksgiving to all those people who contributed to build it. So all of this, gratefulness, joy, so those are the feelings. Sir, what were the learning that your team took from earlier mission that ensured success this time, sir? See, uh, any failure is such a great teacher. Uh, the last failure of Chandrayaan 2 gave us a lot of inputs in terms of its data and what went wrong, and we really clearly identified. So those lessons are the first thing that we uh, learned, and afterwards we looked at what all can go wrong further, and we strengthened all of them so that the failure won't happen this time. So. Uh, essentially, in, in all the space missions, failures are important element for achieving success. The very first time success doesn't mean it is a success. We all realize that the second time it can fail. So once it fails, a lot of data comes and a lot of information comes. And in every, even if it succeeds one time, there are possibilities of failures in the second time. So uh, looking at many other rocket launches, you will understand that. So we are very tuned to understanding failures and make corrective actions. Why has ISRO chosen the South Pole and the Moon surface? We have gone closer to South Pole, which is 70 degree almost. So the South Pole has a speci special uh, advantage with respect to being a less illuminated by the sun. And because of that, there is a potential to have more scientific content in terms of retention of water below the subsurface and also elemental composition and other activities, uh, which is an electrical activity on the surface of the moon, to be more dominant there than what it is there at the equator. So science people who are scientists who are working on moon has really shown a lot of interest on the South Pole because ultimately human beings wants to go and create colonies on the moon and then travel beyond. So the best place is for something that we are looking for. So po South Pole has a potential to, to be that. Now that uh, the rover Prajan is in on surface of the moon, what is the team hoping from it? It has two instruments. Pragyan has two instruments. Both are related to elemental composition finding on the moon as well as chemical composition. So one based on laser, other based on alpha particles, and both will be doing its experiments. And more than that, it will do the roving on the surface. We will do also a robotic path planning exercise, which is very important for us for future exploration. Uh, and uh, uh, this data will give a little more understanding of the lunar regolith uh, for all the scientists. So that's what we expect. When pictures of Pragyan rover will come in the moon surface, sir? It will come soon. We are working today for it. What are the key experiments that are to be conducted, sir? So other than those two experiments on the Pragyan, we have three experiments on board uh, Vikram lander also. One is related to finding the seismic activity on the moon surface. The payload is ILSA. And there is a, a payload where we will conduct a thermophysical measurement of the moon surface called uh, CHASTE. And the third experiment is uh, uh, REMBA, which is going to measure the electrical uh, new uh, activity on the surface, especially to study the uh, charged particle atmosphere of the moon. So three such experiments. Sir, what is the next for ISRO in terms of mission Gaganyan and mission Aditya? Aditya is a mission to Sun. It is getting ready, and uh, it is just ready for launch. First week of September, it will be launched. And after that, it will be launched. Uh, it will travel for many days to reach the L1 point. Gaganyan is still in, in the work, in progress, and we are doing a mission possibly by end of September or beginning of October for demonstrating the crew module and crew escape capability, and which will be followed by further missions of unmanned missions next year beginning, and many more test, test missions and test uh, ground tests, hundreds of them, until we do the first manned mission, possibly by 25. ISRO has also showcased extraordinary ability to the world, but how would you we especially go into forward? Of course, uh, we continue to work on domains which are very complicated compared to many other scientific and technological domains, and we are very happy in the last 60 years we were able to accomplish something very phenomenal uh, that other, like as much as a developed nation could do, having rockets of our own made fully in India, designed and made in India, as well as satellites and missions whatever we want to achieve. So it's a great feeling. And it has also been serving the country in terms of applications and as well as creating industries, engineering capability, and motivating people more than that, creating an inspirational organization where the, it has become the nation's pride, and we are very happy about that.
Sir, what is the functional capability of the rover and the uh, lander set at this point of time and what you are expecting from this in the uh, coming days? Uh, nothing but scientific experiments. So it is designed to do that scientific experiments and we expect good data out of it. What is, what is the data so we are expecting? So that uh, we need another uh, one hour to explain to you the scientific content of it. So I won't venture on it. On it no, I already explained what the elemental composition by the Prakyan and various thermophysical and atmospheric properties of the moon by the rover, by the lander. When it comes to the cast, uh, uh, cost, you said uh, funnily that we can't reveal it. What is the reason? I never said I can't reveal it. We have already revealed the cost. What, what, is, what is ISRO's next plan as far as this Chandrayaan 3 is concerned? Sir? Chandrayaan 3 is uh, nothing but contact the experiment for the next 14 days. Yeah. What is the health condition of uh, the lander and the rover both at this point of time? Both are very healthy. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sir, I need just two questions from Hindi. Okay, Bolye. Sir, uh, firstly, aap, aapka ye jo, uh, successful mission ke baad, aapka feeling kaisa raha hai, sir? Aur pehle kaisa tha jo uh, udan kiye the uske baad? Pehle bhi aur aap bhi amare very contented hai, I'm very joyful hai. Ki ham, humko ye mission successful uh, so that's why we are grateful to everybody for contribution, prayers, your blessings for all of us we are grateful for all of you sir, two missions that have been done from them, what have you learned from them and what have you changed from them Chandrayaan 2 to 3 so the we had a problem in Chandrayaan 2 about the soft landing so we learned lessons from that after that we have changed the changes in Chandrayaan 3, so there are some new instruments in Chandrayaan 3. The software has made a rugged. We have done hundreds of tests. So, after all the tests and modifications, we had a chance to reduce the failure of this time. But for any mission, the failure will be done. So, we can't do anything else. But everything went very well. It went nominally. So, we got a successful mission.